Hey guys, I just wanted to show you real quickly how to get this learn more button on uh, videos that have been uploaded straight to Facebook. So uh, normally you'll upload a video to Facebook and it'll just kind of have the title down here and whatever description you put in. Um, it doesn't have the learn more button. And so I just wanted to show you how to get this learn more button. There's a couple other buttons you could choose from, but typically I go for the learn more button because I'm trying to get people to go to my blog after they watch the video or when they're watching the video. Um, and so this learn more button is going to direct them straight over to the same link which is over at our blog. Uh, so as you can see up here I've got all the way up here a video that we uploaded recently that does not have the learn more button um, but it just has the video and then also a blog link way down here. Um, most people probably won't even click over to open that larger so a learn more button down here will definitely get some traffic over to your website. Uh, so to do that, you're going to go up here. If you haven't already set up Business Manager, go through, watch another video, or read up on how to do that. But you're going to want to have Business Manager set up for your Facebook page. And then from there, you'll get over here. It'll have all your different Facebook pages and whatnot. And we'll just go over to Power Editor. And if you don't have that Power Editor option right here, it's because you've probably never clicked on it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to all tools and power editor is right there. Okay, so what you'll want to do is you're going to want to set up a new campaign. Uh, I've already got one set up down here, but I'm going to go through and set up a new one just to show you. Uh, so you'll click create campaign, call it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to call this test one. doesn't matter what you call it. Um, I like to set the uh, buying, oh, I'm sorry, the campaign objective to video views. I don't think this makes a difference personally, but just in case it does, I'm going to set it up to that. Uh, you may want to try some of the other options. I haven't really experimented with this, but you might want to try lead generation because that might send, help to send people over to your website or traffic. Um, but I usually just go for video views, and again, I don't think it makes any difference at the moment. Um, so then you'll create a new ad set, and again, just call it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to randomly create one right now. And then lastly, you're going to create a new ad. Typically, I'll name the ad after the video I'm trying to get the button on. So this one was Kelly and Nick. And then Save to Draft. So once you've clicked Save to Draft, uh, you don't need any of these options over here. So just click Close. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of dive through this test campaign and we need to edit this this uh, ad. It's got errors because it needs to be fixed. So we're going to click Edit here. And what you want to do is make sure you select the right Facebook page. So for this one, it's our Honeydew Films Facebook page and our Honeydew Films Instagram. This isn't really important because this video is longer than Instagram supports, so it's not even going to go to Instagram. Um, and then down here in this section, instead of creating an ad, we're going to use an existing post. So over in the existing post, you can drop down, select uh, the video that we want to select. So that is this video here, which is Kelly and Nick. And you can see it populates there. So right now, you still see no button. So what we need to do is add a button. And again, I stick with Learn More just because to me, it makes the most sense. I'm, I'm wanting to send them to a blog post. So personally, none of these other ones make sense to me. Maybe watch more, maybe um, learn more, but I usually just stick with learn more. And then from there, you're going to send them to your website, to the link that you want to send them to. So we want to get them over to this blog post here so they can you know, give us some traffic to our website, potentially inquire with us. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it over here. So now this learn more button will direct them to that address. So click update post and then now you have your learn more button. Uh, so then beyond that I think that is all the settings and then once you've done that you can click uh, close and really importantly you want to leave this ad turned on. So this little button toggles it to be on and off but you want to turn off the ad set because otherwise it's going to start charging you money 
and that is not what we want. We want to have that learn more button without having to pay anything. Uh, so once you've done that, you can click review and it's going to let you know that this is being updated. You can look at the errors for this one. It's just simply saying that we can't put this on Instagram, which is fine. Uh, so then you'll click confirm and once that's done, it's going to publish. And when it finishes publishing, you can go over to your Facebook page. And see that now the post that we made now has that learn more button. If you click on it, it will take you to the website. And also by disabling it, we, um, we disabled it at the ad set level. Uh, before I was disabling it on the ad level and what happened was that I was not able to share the post. So I would go click share and try to share it to my personal page and it would say the ads turned off so you can't share it. So by leaving the ad turned on, turning off the ad set, it's not going to charge us any money and you're going to be able to share it wherever you like, whatever page you like and your audience will also be able to share it. So that is how you get the learn more button. Hope this was helpful for you guys and thanks for watching.